some with Danny O'Brien, one of my favorite people. You can edit that out because I don't want anybody to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody to know that I play favorites, but I, I don't play favorites. Um, no, but seriously, I just want to talk about Danny O'Brien as a person. Like, you know, I don't want to talk about um, you as a real estate agent right this second because I know who you are right now, but I want to know how, what made you, what, what was that transition like? We met each other at Crust. We saw each other for the first time in a long time. You said something to your mom. Talk to me about, hey, I want to know what that's going to be like as a real estate agent. What were, what were you feeling at that moment? So when I ran into Todd at the Crust, like you said, I hadn't seen you in forever. And I don't know, he was dressed all nice, meeting with a client, having coffee. And, you know, it was like 10, 11 a.m. on a weekday. You know, I didn't have a job. I was still trying to play football and figuring out what I was going to do. And I just asked my mom, like, what's he do? Like, you know, what, what does he do for a living? She was like, I think he's in real estate. And then, like, the next morning I kind of woke up and I was just looking out the window and I was thinking about all the people I knew in real estate and, you know, how successful some of them were growing up, you know, in the Powers community, in the St. John's community. And I was just like, I think that would be perfect for me. I'm like, I know I'm a people person and I like dealing with people. And you being out on at 11 o'clock, you know, out on appointments, you know, I was not so much stuck in an office. I knew that's something I could – you know, really like, and I also knew that there was no ceiling to it. So I knew it was good for, you know, somebody that was competitive and I don't know, I just kind of grabbed it. It just happened so fast too. Cause then, you know, I hit up John and then I was in a meeting and the next day I was, you know, planning, but it's to, been planning less to get than a my year. license. Yeah. But it's been less than a year. Months. And I, and I, I say like, I've seen you grow so much from just last winter to this winter and talk to me about, or talk to a person of your age who maybe thinking about getting into real estate or, or even struggling financially, what's yeah. that like to come in and feel what we've done in this group? Uh, it's It's been amazing, honestly. And, you know, everybody getting out of college, it can be tough, you know. And I, I, didn't, I started to get a degree when I was in school that by the time it was time to graduate, I was like, nah, I don't think I really want to do that. And I know there's a lot of people out there like that. But, you know, I did learn a lot, you know, as far as psychology and stuff like that that I knew could help me in something in sort of sales but you know it's just it's kind of like you're at the bottom and you got nowhere to go but up so you just got to take a chance take a risk you know if you feel something you know emotionally or passionately about something go do it like you can you'll never know if you don't go try it so so your first you're invited to our first team meeting okay you walk in that door in our team meeting what, what were you feeling like what what was your takeaway from that team meeting um I mean, I loved how y'all started with prayer. I could feel it was like, definitely wasn't like that in other workplaces. And, you know, I never, you know, we did that in football. We'd end with prayer. And, you know, I think it was a, I've kind of felt a bond in the group. And yeah, not everybody when I started is still here now. But after you're here for one team meeting, you kind of get the gist that, you know, this isn't a normal workplace. Like we have relationships with each other. Like we're homeboys, like me and John are home. Like, you know, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's been a lot of great relationships and you can, I could feel that as soon as I walked in the door. And then we just, uh, I mean, you just got a chance to experience your first team retreat, yeah. right? And it's our only second annual. We put a lot of work into that. Yes, like, did. so describe the team retreat and how do you feel? Team retreat was awesome. Um, some of the speakers, you know, I really, I really enjoyed, you know, some more than others. And I think that's what it is. But I think it's just important to take, you know, one little thing or two little things from each person because you can always learn something. Um, I think, you know, it's important to take notes. And that's something I learned, you know, playing football. You know, we, you guys gave us those new books and I filled out five pages, you know, because, yeah, just seeing somebody talk is one thing. But going back and remembering like yeah why haven't I been doing this like I felt when I was listening to it and you know it's kind of a reminder but the team retreat was awesome as far as like just being with everybody and kind of away from work because I guess I never really see anybody else away from work other than you know on appointments and out at houses and stuff but I thought it was good to you know just kind of relax be ourselves you guys did a great job with everything. And you can tell you, you, Jen and John worked really hard on setting that up for us. And, you know, I think it's going to pay dividends in everybody's attitudes. That's good to know. Yeah. So I'm going to go a little deeper with you because I think that, you know, 
one of the things I know who's someone's really important to your life is your mom, mm -hmm. right? And I know, I can't imagine, like, I know your mom was super, super proud of you during football, like watching you succeed and do all those things in football and watching you on national television. I mean, I saw that. I used to follow her on Facebook. And and then can you describe what may she may be feeling now for you? She's very proud of me because, you know, towards the end of my career, she didn't like watching and just like the pain and the brutality of it and getting hurt all the time and surgeries. and um, But she was like, she knew I could be great at whatever I did just because of my mindset. And, you know, she knows I'm motivated. And she just, I don't know, she thought I would struggle with finding what I wanted to do. And I did. And so when I first, you know, just did a couple deals, you know, slow a little bit at first. And then in the summer, I'm coming home every week like, hey, man, I just sold a house today. Hey, man, I just sold a house today. She's sitting there like, oh what the hell like yeah. and I just felt it like she was happy and you know I've been able to do some things for her that I never have been able to and um it's been great I'm glad to hear that yeah. man I'm glad that. so talk take us out and tell me what what Danny O'Brien's like in three years three years real estate mogul baby <laughs> I mean we're just gonna we're gonna keep growing this this brand and this company and um there's nowhere to go but up you know you just got to keep your mindset right and not get complacent and stay prospecting <laughs> there you go because when i got a little bit busy over the summer i think i lacked a little bit on you know i'm kind of keeping deals together keeping deals together and i'm not getting the clients so i had a couple slow weeks so it's it's not about pendings it's about prospecting <laughs> right that was one takeaway yeah from, from for, the sure. Thing, for sure i did yeah i'm gonna um, get that tattooed on my <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know if i i don't know if i asked him this year i'm gonna try it again but tell us um danny what does legs mean to you legs means to me I'm just playing. Um, I think the the growing is, you know, the biggest part to me. Okay. You know, continuous growth. That's something I've always, you know, believed in. If you ain't growing, you're dying. And, you know, if you're not setting more goals or better goals or having planning out, you know, what you want, then you're not going to get it. So and growing is also the relationships around you and the people you surround yourself with. So, you know, like people, you being in my life, you know, knowledge and real estate the relationship she's showing me how it's done because you're a baller um you know and i think it's just great to, and i think that's the most important part of the growth is the people you're surrounding yourself with 